Hey Leos, this is your weekly reading for March 2021, Summer Rising and Venus sign. Thank you guys so much for coming back to watch your reading. I do appreciate each and every one of you. Let's go ahead and jump into your cards here. Okay. Spirit and angels, look at this heart has given me cards for my beautiful Leos this week here in March. What message do you have here for Leo? I hope all of you guys are doing well out there. If this message resonates with you, okay. Okay, go ahead with your bad self. <laughs> if, this if this message resonates with you guys, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you know when I upload for you again. Okay. One more time here, Leo. There we go. That feels right. Spirit is saying it's time for you guys to take the lead in your life right now. That's what I'm saying. No more being stuck at a crossroads and making a decision. It's time for you to take the lead. Okay. If this message does not resonate with you guys, <clears throat> make sure you check the description box. I have all of the zodiac signs listed there. You can check your moon rising and Venus sign. We're going to get some additional messages here for you this week using the Art of Manifestation Oracle deck. Okay. Excuse my dog if you hear him barking. Additional messages do you have here for Leo? Someone lies in the Venus sign. One more time, yeah. There we go. Okay. Ooh, okay. We're just going to go a little bit deeper. I'm going to add on the messages of love oracle cards this week to pinpoint exactly what you should be focusing on or what needs to be highlighted here i feel like they're saying truth okay mm -hmm. let me tell you <laughs> Okay, Leos, let's go in with each other. <clears throat> you have different pages. You and this person don't share the same vision here. And you also have mistakes. Okay, coming in here. So, it's, yeah, I feel definitely coming in here. Um, this is the chariot card, 34, here. That's why, that's why I was saying take the lead, okay, with the chariot energy that's coming in. Some of you guys have to take the lead. Possibly you're moving out of a situation, away from negative energy, okay, or you're just choosing a new option when it comes to a romantic partner because someone is uncommitted, okay, um, while you're committed <laughs> here, okay? So they're talking about the chariot card with this mistakes card here. I'm going to read it for you here, Leo. It says, if you feel you have made a mistake or indeed someone else has done so with impact on you, please do not feel bad about this. Treasure and value your mistakes and those of others around you. They are the cutting edge of our personal growth and evolution. So there's a lesson to be learned and a lesson to take away from this connection here. And you're going to grow and evolve into this new person or have this new mindset. That's what spirit is letting me know. Okay. Your card is saying lean into the learning and celebrate your openness to grow and transform. Okay. You have regret. So a card that said mistake, and then you have this regret card. Someone feels remorse for the way they treated you. So you may get an unexpected apology coming up here um, this week, Leo. 
All right, let's read your card. But I feel like in some way you've already ended something with this number 10. Like you've cut someone off. You're... Um, you, you guys may feel, okay, in the future that you're stuck at a crossroads, okay, because of this apology that's coming in, because someone feels remorse. Possibly you have moved on and you're doing better in your life here and they see you see you doing better, okay, and they want to pop back up. Um, so let's see what your card is saying here, okay. The cycles of the moon here in the number 10. There's... <laughs> Okay, the placement of the moon here, okay? Don't let your heart be led astray either. That's something else that I'm feeling because I'm not sure exactly what moon is coming up here. I should have looked at that before I started this reading, but you can go ahead and Google that, okay? The placement of the moon or what moon is coming up, full moon, quarter moon, half moon, whatever moon is coming up, okay? And see how your your emotions will be around that time. Okay, that this person comes back with regret here um, because they're saying pay attention to the cycles of the moon. It could tell you why you're feeling a certain way. All right. And where you should go from there. Your card is saying here, Leo, this card invites you to attune yourself with the rhythms of the moon. Notice how the phases of the moon affect your energy and learn to use these energetic shifts within you to enhance your capacity to be consciously co-creative in all aspects of your life here. So you have a choice, okay? You are the co-creator in your life. You have a choice whether or not you're going to accept an apology from someone, okay? But really get to know exactly where their heart is and, and why they're coming from the place that they're coming, okay? Why they're being so apologetic towards you. Is it because they need something or are they really feeling this remorse here, okay? Or they just don't want to see you doing better than them. You're going to have to decipher that yourself here, okay? But this card is talking about mistakes and you being on different pages with someone. Possibly you're, you evolving and learning from this experience with this person. You don't share the same vision. You don't share the same views anymore and you want something better. That's what I'm saying here, okay? You have soulmate. Your soulmate loves, accepts, and respects you unconditionally here. Okay, they won't be this critic or be very critical, overcritical of you or speak to you in a very disrespectful way. Because I feel like that energy is surrounding this inner critic card as well. Okay, your card is saying this card asks you to transform your inner critic into an inner critique, the realistic appraisal and constructive feedback of a critic will enhance your ability to step into the very best version of yourself. So be gentle with your words when you speak upon yourself here and the people that you allow in your life. Make sure they speak life into you. They speak positivity into you. Okay. Um, and not forceful, hateful, uh, manipulative or controlling words upon you. That's what I'm feeling here. Okay. Your card is saying, um, whereas going, um, ongoing and persistent criticism will wear you down, eroding your confidence in your belief in your abilities here. So someone doesn't want you to be better. That's what I'm feeling. Someone doesn't want you to move on in some type of way. So be very careful about an apology that might be coming back in from uh, coming in from someone. This could be a past friend, family member, romantic partner. OK, someone that you work with, someone that wants a second chance because they feel regret and remorse for the way that they spoke to you and treated you. OK, others may be attracted to you right now. A lot of sunshine and light and positive energy is being interjected into you here this week and going forward that's what i feel and you are um i feel like this person can see this they can sense other people being attracted to you okay and this is possibly why someone may want a second chance with you here okay the card is saying be your brilliant self Okay, be great today here, Leo. Be brilliant. This card asks you to get in touch with the extraordinariness of everyday living. 
Go about your daily life doing everything to the be very best of your ability. Okay? Mm. I feel like someone's got a very big problem with being judgmental on you. Okay? So be careful with an apology and then some sly talk under that. Okay? Sly comments that may come with that. Like, why are you doing that? Why are you wearing that? Why are you saying that? Okay, don't worry about that. Okay? <laughs> That's what I'm feeling. The card is saying be extraordinary in a ordinary way. Be brilliant. Um, your brilliance will radiate into the world, creating more change than you could possibly imagine here. Okay? And Spirit wants you to um, share that energy, that positive, peaceful, brilliant energy with the world, with others, with the people that you have in your life, whoever you're surrounding yourself with. Okay? And make sure those people give you back that same type of energy and do not tear you down. Okay? Do not criticize you and and wear you down eroding your confidence in your beliefs and your abilities if someone has already been doing that or you experienced this from someone that it could have been a past soulmate okay we have many soulmates in this lifetime okay but it's okay to let something go that erodes your confidence here okay and your beliefs in yourself just because they apologize don't mean that they have changed themselves okay maybe they just see your light shining so bright that they don't want it to shine that way because they have said some negative things about you to other people and they don't want to see, want to be seen as being um too critical okay <laughs> look take the lead this is how you're looking dear yes that's why you have this card here talking about being your brilliant self here the emperor card is coming in for you here um, Leo. So spirit is saying, okay, accept a leadership role, uh, become structured and disciplined, take charge of the situation, take charge of your life, okay, um, and be very logical and organized and determined, okay. This will increase your success and roll over the person that is trying to tear you down. They're going to get even madder when they see they can't break you, okay. That's what it is. You don't have to do it in a hateful way or hurtful way, okay? Just be your beautiful self. That's what I'm feeling with the Queen of Cups that is crossing you here. So this is a potential, okay, um, for you to still be caring and and uh, loving and be a good friend to those who are good who's a good friend to you here okay and dismiss those that try to tear you down okay spirit is saying take care of yourself okay while you're trying to take care of everyone else here leo make sure you take care of yourself and follow your heart here and some of you guys are psychics uh you are very intuitive um you follow your intuition um and spirit is saying don't dismiss that here Okay, and continue to be loving and compassionate to those who are loving and compassionate to you. Okay, because it's going to bring you more of that energy back in. All right, so what you need to focus on you have the Ace of Cups, new relationships that feel better. That's what you need to focus on. Um, and Spirit is saying, stay emotionally open and don't repress anything. Okay. Um, I see that you will attract new friendships, a new soulmates, okay, that love and respect you and will uplift you positively with their words and their actions here, okay, and won't tear you down and won't, uh, excuse me, allow you to tear yourself down here. So focus on those relationships, okay? Your card is saying a romantic relationship or deep friendship will uh, start to develop this week or throughout March here, okay? So pay attention to anyone that wants to come back um, into your life and new people that want to enter your life. Especially pay attention to the ones that feel this regret in their heart. It could be just the moon playing, <laughs> pulling at their heart, okay? Um, making them feel... Um, is there a, I'm not sure if there's a Venus energy coming in or something. Someone's going to start really feeling... Uh, the loss of you 
Okay, that's what I feel here. Someone's going to awaken to the fact that they don't have your heart anymore and try to return. But there's so many other opportunities here in love and friendship and relationships here. Focus on that energy that feels good, not the ones that tore you down here, okay? All right, your past energy is the king of cups. I felt I felt this already that you possibly give too much here, okay? Um, that's what I'm feeling with the king of cups energy. So, um, yeah, I feel like spirit is saying be cautious with this energy, okay? And giving too much to those that are that are unworthy of um, your energy, okay? And the love that you are trying to give here, preserve that for the ones that give it back to you here, okay? Some of you guys are dealing with a little F boy, really. That's seductive and likes to play upon your heart. Maybe a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio likes to cry wolf, okay? But ain't really shit wrong with you. <laughs> Besides the fact that they don't have your attention anymore, okay? So be careful of that energy and take the lead in your life and really um, stand up for what you believe, okay? Take charge of the situation. Some it could be as simple as no no you can't have my attention no you can't message me no you can't you know just step back into my life and i forgive you maybe you forgive a person but you don't have to allow them back in there's something else that i'm feeling here okay because look some of you guys know this already what's crowning you what's on your mind is the two of swords it's you protecting yourself okay and you need to protect yourself with the two of swords some of you guys are dealing with a stalemate or f boy like i said okay and there's this need for you to make a decision on whether or not you're going to keep entertaining a relationship or a person or are you going to release them okay spirit is saying follow your heart rather than trying to make others happy <clears throat> pretending there is no problem okay don't over or don't over analyze the situation because you already know the truth in your heart here okay there's time this is the time for change here with the world card coming in the future the near future position here okay so spirit is letting me know with the world card coming in there um this is a, a period of change um for a lot of you guys here okay significant change coming into your life here you got this saturn um energy is this saturn energy i believe it is um that's coming in towards you here okay so i feel in some way uh with this world card spirit is letting you know that uh there's an end of this this phase here with this situation whatever you guys are dealing with this is a time to release yourself and say yes to your own happiness yes to your own new beginnings okay and go ahead and make the shift make the change in your life and make the decisions that you need to make to find peace and comfort and stability of the mind body heart okay your spirit here so your suggested approach here, you have the four of pentacles. Interesting. <laughs> you Some of you guys give too much. Okay, you need to pull back. Okay, um, four of pentacles is coming in, letting me know that you need to reserve some of the energy that you're giving out to the ones that don't deserve it. You need to reserve it for yourself. Okay, someone doesn't deserve what you're giving them. That's something else that I'm feeling with the four of pentacles. Possibly you may have someone coming back with regrets or apologies and wanting a second chance because what they need from you is monetary. They need money or they need your stability, okay, to feel complete and whole and secure again, okay? So pay attention to what this person is asking you for, okay? And make a critical decision on whether or not you're going to extend yourself or preserve yourself here. Okay. What you need to know here this week. New beginnings here for you, Leo. Ace of Wands energy coming in. Like I said, with the world card that's coming in again. These are new relationships, new energy, new beginnings uh, that I see here for you. And I'm I'm begging you guys to go towards the new okay start paying attention to how you feel um how you express yourself okay uh, pay attention to um new fresh starts in your life here this could be in new relationships it could be in new business some of you guys could be moving or deciding to move or wanting just um 
a fresh start for yourself go for that okay gain that new lease on life and uh, find your comfort okay and your release in these new beginnings here because they hold potential in new beginnings the card is saying an amazing opportunity behold um, be bold courageous and optimistic now is the time to take action take charge okay and do what you're passionate about okay take charge of your life in your situation here Leo you have the eight of Pentacles coming in so some of you guys are moving into new avenues in your life I'm gonna switch off from love here in this relationship and let's talk about you and your money okay <laughs> your new opportunities because this is here is presenting itself this week so if you're looking for employment if you're looking for a job money coming in um, or just a chance for you to uh, really show um, all of the gifts that you have and um, be compensated for it. This is a time to do that with the Eight of Pentacles. It's a time for you to continue to work on yourself and to gain new new knowledge as well with the Eight of Pentacles. Your card is saying learning all you can um, in your career. Okay, some of you guys are thinking about going back to school or starting your own business or putting more attention into your own skills and the things that you're passionate about. Okay, uh, Spirit is saying pay attention to detail and put your energy into that area. Okay, not so much into the past and someone showing regret and all this jazz. Okay, because different pages you guys are on a different page you've learned from your mistakes possibly someone hasn't learned from theirs okay so i was talking about crossroads and that's why i'm talking about it because you have the two of wands that's coming in here okay um it's spirit is saying expand your expand yourself continue to move forward don't go backwards okay due to someone else's remorse that they feel um or them wanting a second chance for you. Continue to move forward in your life here, okay? Yes, that's what I'm saying here. Let's go ahead and get the astrology dice for you. We're going to take a look at your life lesson number as well with these astrology dice coming in. And see what other messages Most High has for you. Y'all. <laughs> You have Scorpio. Some of you guys are dealing with a Scorpio or you have strong Scorpio in your um, chart here. Okay. <clears throat> you have the number 12 here. And in numer numerology, we're going to break this down. One plus two is three. Okay. And we're going to take a look at this... Um, this life path number for you here let's go ahead and do that we're going to take a look at this book you guys i've been devouring this book since i purchased it numerology and the divine triangle and we're going to see what message is here for you okay i believe this is the neptune uh sign that's on this uh numerology dice here uh, that I'm seeing so uh, they're saying surrender okay surrender what no longer serves you and focus on um, focus on yourself okay um, on expanding yourself and really evolving into the person that you truly want to be here that's what I'm feeling okay and your number three here three as a life lesson number here Leo is reading okay you are best in intellectual artistic and creative endeavors you need to express to manifest and to see results of your work beauty fruitfulness luxury and pleasures are your keywords okay you should have ambition and pride in this you must become conscious of the law and by being an excellent disciplinarian with this emperor card here, you will achieve a position of authority over others with hard work. That's why you have the Eight of Pentacles talking about money, okay, finances, things of that sort, okay? That's what you need to focus on right now at this moment. You improving yourself, okay? That you will have um, a position of authority over others and over your own life right 
Three combines the daring um, of one with the caution of two. It is a number of self-expression and freedom and is extra extra uh, extravagant in using energies to gain freedom okay you must guard against becoming a jack of all trades and becoming everything to everyone okay rather you should specialize right now at this moment all right so do what you're good at that's what they're saying <laughs> that will bring you success you could then be successful in artistic religious or inventive pursuits they're really leaning on your money here, okay? And your talents, your skills, all right? That's what they want you to put your focus on. The card is saying attention to detail, okay? Give it your Midas touch. I believe that's what uh, another deck said with the Eight of Pentacles. Give your work a Midas touch here, okay? They're saying here, Leo, you should never do routine work because you dislike restriction. You should work alone for the best results. Business partners become too disciplined for your freedom-loving nature. You could write, lecture, teach, or find um, your niche in journalism, okay? Or an influencer or blogger um, or something of that sort, okay? Decide whatever you decide to specialize in here, Leo. You must use your creative and inspirational talents for the good. Okay. That is you guys reading. Thank you so much for coming back to watch your reading. I do appreciate it. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell because I will be back with you and take care, loves. I'll see you in the next reading. Bye, Leo.